everyone! Welcome to Celebrate Wonder, our Wednesday night worship online experience for kids and families and adults. I'm Reverend Meredith Manning Brown, our lead pastor at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church, and on behalf of Miss Laurie, who's our minister of children and youth, and Laud the Lamb, we welcome you. We're so glad that you are here and joining in this time of worship. Um, if you have not yet received a Celebrate Wonder Kit and you want to be a part of this online and at-home faith experience, let us know in the church office and we'll get that those materials to you. But we're now going to start in on our worship time with some story, with some uh, hopefully helpful tips for art projects, for ideas about creativity, and we're going to get going all at our wonder table with our candle. So why don't you come inside with me and we'll go see if we can find Miss Laurie at her wonder table and get going here with our Celebrate Wonder Worship. Hello everybody and welcome. We are starting our new sessions for not just kids, kids and grown-ups, but we are celebrating wonder. And I think the word wonder is... Really? You already have a question. He already has a question. His question was, he wants to know how we all got here. How is the earth here? How are we here? How is my dog here? How are the turtles here? How is everything here? That's his question. And we are going to attempt to answer that question. He's excited about that. Now, part of our celebrating wonder, we are going to start with a wonder table. And this is just gonna be a spot in your house, anywhere you would like, where you're gonna put some things out each week and kind of keep a collection going. But one of the things that was in your bag is a candle. And it smells nice too. So the first thing that we're gonna do when we get started each week is light our candle. Laud loves lighting candles. Now, sometimes we have better luck than others, but it's usually better if I do it, okay? Okay, well, I'm gonna do it. We don't need a lamb on fire. Or maybe he's better at this than I am. There we go. We're gonna light our candle for the first time. And we're ready to start. Okay, boys and girls, in one second, we'll be right back. All right, we're gonna to start to answer some of these questions that we all have. So come really close so you can watch our first Bible story video of this season. It's pretty good, so pay good and close attention, guys. Wait, where are the lights? I can't see anything. There they are. Hi, I'm Carly, and welcome to Celebrate Wonder. I wonder what it was like to only have darkness. In our story today, God begins in complete darkness and then creates light. Can you imagine a whole world of darkness and then God decides to create something that is the opposite? The coolest thing about God's creation is that it all matters. Both the light and the darkness are really important. God named the darkness night and the light day and said that both of them were good. Honestly, I used to be really afraid of the dark and I thought that it was bad because I couldn't see and I wondered about all that was around me. I hid under my blanket or turned on the lights after my parents went to bed so that I could see. Now, even when I get a little scared, I can rest much better. I know that darkness is a part of God's creation and God said it was good. Let's think about it. If it was always night, what would we be missing? Well, 
The plants wouldn't have the sun to help them grow, and it might be hard to find where we were going. What if it was always day? I think we would be really tired, because it would be so hard to sleep with the sun so bright. And the plants would burn from the hot sun all day. Friends, God didn't just make sure there was night and day. God also created land so there was land and sea and said both of them were good too. God was creating space and home for all the future plants, animals, and humans. Wow, God's creativity is really awesome. Creativity is the process of imagining and making something, like God imagined and created the world. Are there things that you imagine and want to create? Would you have changed the sun or make the moon differently? Creativity is all about imagining and creating. God's creativity is so beautiful. God imagined and then made space that God saw as good. My favorite part is that we get to experience God's creation together. Now, you wonder. Hi everyone. I hope you enjoyed that video. Laud said he loved it. It has started to answer some questions, but now it's time for you guys to discuss. So, in your kit and your binder, during session one, you're also going to find on the side something that looks like this. This is a wonder cube. I know, it doesn't look like a cube, but after you cut it out and put it together, the magic of TV, we have a wonder cube. And it has lots of questions on it, like, I wonder if you could be any character in the Bible story you just saw, what would you be? Why? Let's see. You want to roll it? Just keep it away from the fire, okay? Let's just now see. I wonder what is the most important part of this Bible story? So just some questions that you guys can discuss with your family or whoever you are watching this with. So we're going to do that. But you're going to do that. Then we're going to talk about our faith word this week. And we're going to have this faith word for a few weeks until we change words. And our word this week is creativity. We're all creative in lots of different ways. So our art project for this week, there wasn't a bag in here like, let's see, like you have a week four bag, okay? There wasn't one of those in this kit because you're going to use things you find around your house. Maybe it's things that you're planning on throwing away. That's what we found. We have a lot of paper in this house. We have a lot of newspaper. We have a lot of paper that we went to print something and didn't print right. But she'd still like to use it for something. So that's what we did. We're going to make our earth using whatever things you find in your house. So, come on, Lod. We have also in your kit your bag of supplies, which you might need, you might not, depending on what you have to work with in your house. So, to start, I decided I would just take some newspaper. Yeah, I know you like this part. And I'm gonna wad it up into a ball. Is that good, Lod? I know, it doesn't taste good, sorry. And then we're gonna, because I'd like it to be blue and green, not newspaper print, I got a piece of paper out of our recycling as I was working on our Celebrate Wonder things, just trying to figure some stuff out. So we're gonna wrap that around it. Now, is this going to be perfect? No. Is it going to be a perfectly round ball? No. Is it still fun? Yes. So there's my ball right there. There's my earth that I made. But I want to add some color to it. So I have, what do we have in here, Lod? We have 
colored pencils. We have, I'll help you, I'll help you. Just relax. We have crayons. And I could use these things to create my art. Whatever colors I wanted to do. Okay? I'm planning on doing blue and green. Next week, I will show you our finished project. Okay, it'll be on my wonder table so you can see our finished project. But now it's your turn to do your project. Adults, we'll be right back to you. Okay, grown-ups, it's your turn. We've talked about the kids being creative, but it's time for us to get a little creative too. I'd like you over these next several weeks to pick something that you want to work with your own creativity. For me, one of the things I'd like to get a little more creative with is my cooking. My family would probably appreciate it too. So, maybe for some of you, you want to try cooking. You know, I really enjoy doing counted cross stitch and sewing. So the next couple of weeks, I'm going to try to do some sewing projects. Okay, something else you might try, might be creative. Train your dogs. They're all in. Okay, ready? Good girl. Oh, you got to sit. Oh, don't hit her. Sit. We got a, got a ways to go, but give it a try. You know, one of the things I've always wanted to try is wood carving. Maybe this is my week to give it a go. But whatever it is that you do, just do something creative, grown-ups. Give it a try. Don't forget your creativity. Okay, so who remembers what our faith word of the week is. I think they answered right. I do. Creativity. We've given you kiddos some ideas for creativity and the grown-ups some ideas for creativity through our sessions. We've got something else now that we're going to hang somewhere in our house and it is also in your binder on one of the sides. And it's called a celebration chart. It's got lots of things on here. So Laud and I are gonna go through real quick and check some things that we've maybe done today. So if you wanna grab your celebration chart, let's see. Hmm, we were kind to animals today, weren't we? Yeah, we fed the dogs, we fed the turtles. So let's put, it, let's put a little check mark there. And here's the thing, every time you do one of these things, you're gonna put a check mark in that box. We're going to try to get all of our boxes filled. I took care of plants today. Oh, recycled. We even talked about that when we made our earth. We recycled. Um, I think there's lots of things that we've maybe started to do. Laughed. We've already laughed this morning. Make sure you laugh every day. That is so important right now. And make somebody else laugh. You do really good work at that. Yeah, you do. I know. It's great. So, keep your celebration chart going. We'll check in each week. Say how we're doing. You'll see next week how much Laud and I have done. Thank you so much for joining us for our very first Celebrate Wonder Worship. We're so glad that you've been here. We hope that you've had a good experience, that uh, you've enjoyed all the stories and all the things. Um, if you, again, have not yet received a Celebrate Wonder kit, just let us know in the DAUMC Church office and we'll get that to you. And now as you continue on in your time together, we hope that you will enjoy the video, the music video that is a part of our time together, that you enjoy watching that and singing along with that. We'll be doing that each week at the end of our time together and uh, we'll get to learn some new songs that way. So on behalf of Laurie and Laud and myself, Pastor Meredith, bye. Remember to watch the music video. You did first things first 
you dreamed up the earth and with just a word you made it so so good all the stars align just like in your mind everything in time you made it so so Yeah.